Welcome to another video where I am going to show you how you can simply and smoothly add an email from your Gmail account to a Trello card without actually ever having to leave Gmail or Google or G Suite or whatever kind of Google you're using your emails with. So it's simply going to the web uh, Chrome Web Store, which you can either find if you type in Chrome Web Store into Google itself, obviously, or you click on Window, Extensions, and then you click on the hamburger menu that comes up, uh, and here click on Open Chrome Web Store, and it will open the Web Store in a separate app. And now what we're going to do is search for Gmail and Trello. And that's basically the first ex extension that uh, comes up, is the one that we want. So we click on Add to Chrome, um, then they will question it again and you click on Add Extension. And then it already it's already visible here at the top uh, right hand side and will tell you that this is in color once it's working. So we go back to Gmail and since we don't reboot the restart the browser, we simply um, reload the page and you will already see that it's working now since it's blue here at the top but it's also visible here on the left on at the top of the icons that you use to navigate through your G Suite account, Gmail or G Suite account. Um, so you can in general uh, select write tasks and and create cards out of here um, normally without adding an email so that's as simple as selecting a board here selecting the list here so let's choose that one for example that will then automatically source all the lists that are in there um, it will source the cards that are in that uh, particular list and it will source all the labels and the people on the board so for example i'm the only one on that board but i know that i'm not alone here for example and so all the people that are part of this board will come up here in that option and then you can type in the due date and the time um, and the title for the card and the body for the card but what we want to do now um, is you want to throw over basically or you want to push emails that are already in your Gmail account to a Trello card. So you click on the email and you you were like, ah, oh, that needs attention or that I need to have a closer look at or, or uh, something along those lines and you look, go into the email, click on add this to Trello uh, and then you will see that let's uh, choose that one instead that it has the subject line is now the title of the card um the body is now the body of the email it will create that in markdown so whatever is bold will be bolded in 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 the card as well and you ha can add the gmail link as well if you want to um, access it smoothly which when you work with other people though I'm not sure it really makes sense but you the entire content is there and you can also add the images that are part of that email as an attachment to the card um, that one is also one but that's just a white kind of weird gif that we don't want uh, and then once you have everything set up here let's say that is due tomorrow at 1800 and then you click on plus Trello it will if you do that for the very first time ask you to authorize it with Trello I've did that previously so it doesn't do that anymore but obviously you have to authorize it first and then you just have to go to your Trello card and you will to your Trello board and you will see that that's the email that image is an attachment now uh, and the rest of the email is now available here as a description and that's the that is the card name is the title that we chose before so yeah as simple as that especially helpful when you work with a bigger team um, and don't want to hop around and get confused and don't want to use a lot of tabs so I yeah, hope that was helpful and see you again next time bye that's it for today so if you've liked this video and it was helpful at all give me a thumbs up or give me a few comments below or you can subscribe to my channel but i'm not sure where it is so maybe it's a red button has a bell on it so click the bell and follow my channel thanks for watching and see you soon bye